variety of reasons. More and more women these days are waiting until their late 20s or early 30s to have babies. In fact, according to one study out, the number of new moms between the ages of 35 and 39 has risen to the highest level in three decades. And it's triggered another growing phenomenon known as baby bunching, when women choose to have children close in age. The topic is the focus of an article in this month's edition of Washington Parent Magazine and WashingtonParent.com. According to doctors, the ideal spacing of children is two and a half to three years in order to give a woman's body enough time to fully recover from pregnancy and childbirth. And while many families adhere to this medical advice, others are baby bunching, having baby number one, number two, and even baby number three back to back. According to Washington Parent, the main reasons women jump on childbearing fast tracks is because they're biological clocks are ticking to get childbearing over with so they can go back to work and to provide siblings with instant playmates close to their age. But baby bunching can be pretty difficult, juggling two or more children in diapers. Dealing with the screaming tantrums, the potty training, and double strollers are certainly no walk in the park. Simply running an errand can be a major feat with a bunch of little ones in tow. And don't forget, you could end up with three kids in college at the same time. Mm, that's tough these days. On the other hand, many baby bunchers agree that when the dust settles, the payoffs are big and they wouldn't have it any other way. And we'd like to hear from you. Do you think baby bunching is a good idea? Has it worked for your family? Send us an email at NBC4Connected at NBCWashington.com. And if you'd like to read more on this topic, you'll find the link to the article by searching Washington Parent.